Here's the golf cart battery we went with. Our golf cart is a 48 volt golf cart. As you can see, it really empties up space. We had Trojan lead acids in here, and four of them. The lead acids weighed over 80 pounds a piece. This weighs just a little bit more than one of the lead acids. So we saved up weight wise, like over 170 pounds. And I'll show you the specs. So at the top here, you can see the name of the brand of battery we went with, the V-A-T-R-E-R. -E I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But uh, that's not the first lithium brand we tried. A little bit of back history. We did get a different brand of lithium battery to try to upgrade the golf cart a year ago. Saved our money up, got it. And it kept blowing the BMS on the golf cart battery, the new lithium. And they said it was the influx current or whatever it was. It had a 200 amp bms on it and it would not get the golf cart movement so we were obviously going over 200 amp um, with that just turning it on at first to get that inrush of current to get the motor going and so it was worthless to us and unfortunately i had to ship it back which cost us a lot of money so this year we tried this company and so far it's working great uh, let's zoom in on why it's working great and what you should look for here it is. We got 200 amps continuous, which is similar to the last lithium we bought and then lost a few hundred dollars on uh, shipping it back. But the key thing is to see that there is 400 amps of uh, peak for 35 seconds and then 600 amps for three seconds. So that inrush current isn't going to be an issue with this battery and it hasn't been. We turn it on, it works and just like you would expect it to. Really is like a plug and play, no worries. Um, you know, I looked around at some of the other, I just did a quick Google search and found three other batteries selling stuff. And so what I've learned to look for, of course, you have to have the voltage, the right voltage battery, your amp hours are going to be how long the battery lasts. And that's all great, but you have to look at your, um, delivery of amps, how many amps can be delivered at a single time before you blow the BMS. Um, so this one looks like it's from the big battery website and if you look at it uh, this was more expensive than the one I bought but it is more name brand uh, has only 150 amps which normal driving around on a golf course would be no big deal um, it does have a 225 max for five seconds so they did jump it up knowing that the golf carts need more amps when they get moving um, that would have not worked with my golf cart. That would have blown the BMS, and then I would have lost money shipping it back. It would have been a big hassle. Um, and we were able, easily able with the kids and myself and my wife on the golf cart to get above 150 amps just going up hills without even fighting it. Um, let's look at another one I pulled up on the internet. Uh, this one advertised, I see all the all over the place. The Dakota Lithium. Um, you see, it's only got a 100 amp mix max discharge. We would blow this battery's BMS constantly and have to stop and reset it. 100 is way too low for the kids and the hills out at the farm. So that's no good. 200 amp max for three to five seconds, that's still no good. We would, that would get triggered just with the influx and rush current. Uh, so that's no good at all. This battery would be worthless to us. Um, here's a Trojan one, and this one looks pretty good, right? I think it could work with us because we got, I can't even read that, 180 amps continuous. So that's not bad. That's going to get us around no problem. And then when we have the inrush current and or need to get going up the hill, it looks like it's got 300 amps um, for, what does that say, 30 seconds and 500 amps for two seconds. So Trojan does do a good job with their batteries. Everyone seems to like batteries from them, whether they're lead acids or lithium or whatever else. But, uh, you know, you can tell they knew what they were doing and that they need that high amp pool for a short time. We haven't tripped the BMS, and that was the problem we had with the last battery. It was every time we tried to move, it had some type of power surge and the BMS max amps were too low. This is a cool little readout that came with it. You can see we're at 62% battery. And then the top right here, 
is our current that we're drawing, what our battery voltage is, temperature. So it's pretty cool. It's got a bunch of nice little display pages. And I don't really look at any of those except for page one. And we've driven around a bunch with it already. Got to make sure I don't run over one of the dogs. But you can see it's pulling in negative 11 amps. What we discovered going up the hills and with some resistance is that we could get it up over 200 amps. Most of the time you see we're pulling under well one, less than 100. And that's why we thought the uh, that's why we thought the 200 amp max would work with this golf cart and it did not so we were obviously peaking over 200 when we were turning on and getting the current through the motor we can peak where it's huge numbers which is exactly what we need so that we don't trip or trip the bms at all on this so i'll show you the link in the data page on this battery but so far it's been a big win and i would recommend it thank you for watching the bomb